Stripe is a free online payment processing software that allows anyone to simply create payment pages to list their products and services on, to then share with their customers for them to make purchases directly online. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now today in this brief Stripe tutorial, I'm going to share how you can simply create free payment pages within Stripe using Stripe's payment links feature, which was launched in 2021. Okay, so before I go ahead and jump into Stripe, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and create a shareable payment landing page so that you can collect payments online with Stripe. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and create a payment landing page with Stripe payment links. To do that, simply head over to your browser and type in stripe.com and that's going to take you here. Now, if you currently do not have a Stripe account, it's completely free to create an account. In terms of the pricing, you only pay 2.9% plus 30 cents per successful transaction. So Stripe uses a pay as you go pricing model. Okay, so go ahead, sign up to Stripe for free and we'll meet you inside your Stripe dashboard. Okay, so here we are inside my test Stripe account that I'm going to use for today's tutorial. Now to navigate over to payment links, simply navigate over to more, click here, then navigate down and click on payment links. Then to create a payment link, a payment landing page that you can send to your customers, simply navigate up to new and click here. And under preview, this is what your payment landing page will look like. You can also navigate over to mobile and preview what your landing page will look like on mobile device. Okay, so if we navigate over to the left hand side, this is where we can customize our landing page and add the different products that we want to offer on our landing page. Simply navigate over to products or services, click here. We can come down and choose products or subscriptions. So this is best for e-commerce or software as a service. So if you're offering a product, a physical product or a digital product, or maybe you sell a service, for example, a form of consulting, then this is the option you want to select. Below that, we have the option to select customers choose what to pay. So this is best for tipping, donations or pay what you want. So for example, if you run a not-for-profit organization and you want to collect donations, you can go ahead and create a landing page for collecting donations. Or if you provide free services or education of some form, you can choose this method for collecting tips. So we're going to go ahead and click on products or services. Then we can navigate down to product. This is where you can choose an existing product or service that you've already listed on Stripe. If you currently do not have a service or a product, then simply navigate up to new product. Go ahead and name your new product. Again, this can be any type of commercial offering. For example, for me, I offer different types of consulting to my clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in one-on-one -on -one online consulting. Then you can navigate down and add an image of your product or service. Go ahead and do that. If you have an image, then come down and type a description about your product. Then come down and add a price. Go ahead and ensure you have the right currency selected, then come down and you can add additional currencies if you want. And you also have the option to set up reoccurring payments. Now, if you want to learn more about setting up reoccurring payments within Stripe, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, basically setting up a subscription model for your products. For example, I could turn this one-on-one -on -one online consulting into a reoccurring monthly subscription. And maybe I could offer a one-hour strategy session every month for 12 months. However, if it's just a one-off purchase for a product or service, keep one time selected. You can also come down to additional options and you can add a price description. But I'm happy with my product, I'm going to go ahead and click add product. I can also navigate up to add another product and add additional products. I'm going to go ahead and add these different products that I added in a previous tutorial. And then I'm going to add one more. 
which is this product down here. And as you can see, I've added these three products over on the right hand side. If you look at our landing page, you can see that each of these products have been added and the total price is up here. So what I wanna do is navigate through each of these three products and make sure our customers can adjust the quantity. I'm going to navigate down and enable this for each of the different products. Then navigate down to options, come down and you can choose to collect customer's address. We're gonna keep that selected and we're gonna come down and select billing and shipping address and then come down and select the shipping countries. This is if you sell a physical product. However, for us, what we're gonna do is cancel out of that and navigate over to billing address only. Then come down and select require customers to provide a phone number. So we want their billing address and we also want their phone number. You also have the option to include a free trial depending on the nature of your product that you've added. Then if we navigate up to the top, we want to select confirmation page. Down here, we have the option to show a confirmation page. And then if we navigate down to replace default with custom message, if we click this, we can add a relevant message that we want our customers to see once they've made a purchase. So remember, this is a confirmation message. And depending on the nature of your product or service, make sure that you have the correct information or instructions that follow the successful transaction. It could even be a link to a specific destination. For example, for me, because I'm offering consulting, what I could do is add a online destination or a booking form where people can book that strategy or online consulting with me. And I could use a tool like Calendly to book those appointments, book those consultations. And then we also have the option to don't show confirmation page and redirect your customers after a successful transaction to your website. And this is where you just need to add the landing page, your own landing page, where you want your customers to arrive once they've made a payment through this form. However, we're gonna navigate back and click on show confirmation page, and I'm happy with the default custom message over here. Then simply navigate up to create link when you're happy with your new payment page. And just like that, as you can see, we've gone ahead and created our payment link, our Stripe payment landing page. Now all we need to do is simply go ahead and copy this link, then we can simply share this link online. If we navigate down here, you can see some tips for sharing your link. You can share your link over text, email, social media, as many times as you like, or add it to your website. You can also enable the option to receive an email after every successful payment. You can also set up automations with Zapier, and you can also turn on additional payment methods to increase conversion rates. So for example, if we click on additional payment methods, and this is where we can ensure that we have multiple payment methods enabled to make it a lot easier for our customers to convert. For example, we've got cards enabled. If we navigate down to wallets, we can enable Apple Pay. As you can see, we've already enabled Apple Pay and Google Pay. And then down here, we've got Alipay that we can enable if we like. If we navigate down further, we have bank redirects that we can turn on if we like. The more payment options you have enabled, the easier it is for your customers to convert. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to our payment link. So like I mentioned, we can copy the link. We can also navigate over to QR code. This allows us to create and download a QR code that we can then add to different business materials. We can also embed on our website and then our customers, potential customers, can use their smartphone to scan this QR code, which will then take them directly to our landing page. Okay, so what we'll do is exit out of that. Then we also have more options over here. We can change the name, edit, and add a note to our payment link. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you what this payment page looks like from the perspective of a customer. And as you can see, when a customer scans the QR code or clicks on our link, that's gonna take them to this payment page. They can navigate up to the three different products that we've added, and they can navigate over to quantity. They can remove the different product items if they like by coming down and clicking zero, then clicking confirm remove. And as you can see, they now only have two products then all your customers need to do is add their contact information, their billing information, and then come down and subscribe.
and then when your customers subscribe they will see a confirmation message either a custom confirmation message or a default custom message this just depends on the settings you chose remember instead of a confirmation message you can send your customers to a custom landing page on your website so as you can see stripe makes it incredibly easy for anyone to create payment landing pages payment links for you to collect payments online and to sell your products or services and there we have it guys that is it for this stripe payment page and payment links tutorial for beginners now if you have any questions about this process of creating a payment page make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way i'll see you in the next video take care guys